Now, let's show you some smarter code with databases and native controls. Would it be nice, for instance, to use the for in construct with T datasets? Well, actually, let's watch some code first. This is a piece of code that lots of applications have similar pieces of. You have a mixture of some business logic and some glue to get the business logic working. The glue is marked in red and the business logic is marked in black. And what you see is that the glue is about 50% of the business logic. In this session, I'll cover this particular example, but the real goal for you is to find out where your glue is and where your business logic is and if the percentage of glue is not as crazy as this and learn how to decrease that percentage of glue and learn ways to do it the best way. So glue is present in a lot of places. For instance, this case is looping over data sets, but there's plenty of applications that mix their user interface with their business logic code. Who hasn't started writing an on-click event handler and doing user interface stuff and business logic at the same time in the same procedure? Similar for reacting in the user interfaces on changes of data. How do you react on that? What components do you use? Where is your logic? Is that in the user interface or is it in another layer? Uh, sometimes it's mixed and um, getting that glue out, out of the way is a key aspect of getting your applications more stable and more maintainable.